We have previously considered a state variable regulator where we add state feedback to a state variable model. We have also calculated where the closed loop poles would be located which tells us the dynamics of the regulator. Using an example, we have illustrated how we can place the regulator poles in desired locations by comparing the characteristic equation of the regulator with the desired characteristic equation. In today's video, we look at how to design the state feedback gain for the special case where the plant is given in the control canonical form and we start to address the question of where we can place the closed loop poles. We start by looking at how to design the feedback gain for a plant in control canonical form. To illustrate the concept, we do the development for a general third order system, but it is possible to prove that the results hold for any order. Suppose a third order system is described in the control canonical form, which means that the system matrix A has minus alphas on the bottom row, where the alphas are the coefficients of the denominator of the system's transfer function. The rest of the left column contains zeros and the top right block is an identity matrix. The B vector contains zeros except for the last element which is 1. Now suppose a regulator is constructed by adding state feedback where the state feedback gain is given by this three element row vector. As developed previously, the closed loop poles of the regulator are given by the roots of the characteristic equation where the characteristic polynomial is now given by the determinant of SI minus A plus BK. For our case this is SI, this is matrix A, this is vector B and this is the feedback gain vector K. We now combine these matrices and calculate the determinant which results in this characteristic polynomial. The characteristic polynomial is now given in a very convenient form where each coefficient is a function of only one of the elements in vector k. The characteristic polynomial of the regulator is rewritten here which we label as equation 1. Suppose the desired regulator poles are given by lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 then the desired characteristic polynomial is the product of s minus each lambda. Resulting in this characteristic polynomial where the coefficients a1, a2 and a3 are functions of the lambdas. We call this equation 2. We now equate the coefficients between equations 1 and 2 resulting in a1 equal to alpha 1 plus k3 a2 equal to alpha 2 plus k2 and a3 equal to alpha 3 plus k1. After rearranging these equations we can easily solve for the elements of vector k where k1 is equal to a3 minus alpha 3, k2 is equal to a2 minus alpha 2 and k3 is equal to a1 minus alpha 1. Let's work through an example to illustrate the concepts. Suppose a third order state variable model has this matrix and this B vector. The goal of this example is to design a regulator with closed loop poles at minus 1 plus minus J and at minus 2. We recognize this system to be in control canonical form with alpha 1 equal to 0.4 alpha 2 equal to 1 and alpha 3 equal to 0. The desired characteristic polynomial is given by s minus the first pole times s minus the second pole times s minus the third pole. After multiplying out the factors we get the following polynomial where we identify the coefficients a1 equal to 4, a2 equal to 6 and a3 equal to 4. We can then simply write down the state feedback gain vector k where the first element is a3 minus alpha 3, the second element is a2 minus alpha 2 and the third element 
is A1 minus alpha 1. It is therefore very easy to design a regulator when the plant is described in control canonical form. Another important thing to note is that each coefficient in the regulator characteristic polynomial is a function of one and only one element of k. It is therefore possible to choose the elements of k such that any desired characteristic polynomial can be constructed. This means that if the plant is described in control canonical form, we can place the closed loop poles in any desired locations. We will later use this fact to conclude that for any system that is controllable, whether it is written in control canonical form or not, we can place the closed loop poles in any desired locations.